Hey, so I am back to bring you another video where I test out a new lash applicating type of product to see if it's just another gimmick or hopefully if it's a groundbreaking revolutionary type of product. I don't, I don't know what to expect today. All I know is it's weird. I'm testing out in this video the new Kiss Lash Glue Liner. So it is a built-in glue inside the eyeliner that you'll put right above, you know, there, and we'll see if the lashes actually stick on or or not. I did pick up both the black style that they have and the clear, which is really nice that they offer that because not everybody wants to have a black liner on top. And if the clear works out, then that will be, that'll be really nice. So I'm super excited. They also said that you could pair it with any brand of lashes. So that will be good if that actually works out. I did pick up a Kiss lash set just to give this product the best the best ability that it can. You know, if it doesn't work out with its own brand, then I'm not gonna have much hope for anything else. If it does work out, maybe in a future video, I'll show you guys me testing it with other brands. But for now, this is what we'll be doing. By the way, if you are new here, new to my channel, new to my face, or maybe you've just been kind of, you know, watching my videos, but not making the plunge yet. My name is Ashley Ellix, and I would love it so much if you would consider subscribing by hitting that little red button down below. Everyone who is subscribed, please make sure your bell is tapped. That way YouTube will allegedly <laughs> notify you when I post more videos, which is three times a week, all beauty related and all cruelty free. But if you are ready to see me put this product to the test and see if this glue liner lash system works, then you're in the right place. And all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching. Boop. Okay, I'm seeing something that's already a little bit concerning. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. It says apply to clean dry eyelids free of moisture and makeup. So here's the thing. As you can see, my makeup's already done. I didn't do any colorful eyeshadow or anything because I wanted you guys to actually see the product working and I didn't want any distractions. But free of makeup completely. So I have just an eye primer and then just a base powder on there. And I'm trying to think. I mean, when I wear lashes, <laughs> it's covered in makeup. I mean, hello, full on eyeshadow. So. I'm a little bit concerned right this moment. I didn't read the how-tos until just now. So we will see together. We'll see how it works out. It needs to work at least over eyeshadow though, in my opinion. I also already did my mascara. As you see, anytime I put on any type of lashes, I like to have my mascara already done, whether that's classic glue or any of the magnetic lashes, I put my mascara on first. So I'm kind of doing it basically how I normally, just without the eyeshadow so you guys can see what's going on, but there's still a base eyeshadow in there, so. I don't know. So it says, starting with one eye, apply a glue liner along the lash line, just like regular eyeliner. And then before the eyeliner has a chance to dry on your eyelid, immediately apply, it says, kiss false lash strips along the glue liner band. Pat to set the lash strip in place and repeat on other eye. All right, we are up close and personal. Let's get to applying. I'm gonna do the black on this side, clear on this side. So let's start with the black. Where's my mirror? That's how I would normally apply my aligner without a wing. I don't think they would recommend a wing, I would think. I don't know if it's sticky. So let's pop this on now. I don't know if you should do it right away or it just said don't let it dry. So let's pop it on. I'm a little like nervous, okay. Why, I keep thinking that it's gonna be like the magnetic liner and just stick right on. It's not going to, okay. Where's my applicators? <sighs> Pressure! <sighs> Oh, okay, it's already sticking. Hang on. Hang on. Go over here. Okay. All right. Did I put enough, like, close to my lashes line? My lashes? Is that on? I think that's on. Okay. This lash style is a very, very curly, which I'm not quite used to. If you want to know what I am wearing, though, it's called Royal Silk by the Lush, Ex Lush, Ex Lush Extensions, something like that. Yeah, very curly, but we're not judging that today. So I can feel it, like as I'm pushing down, it is a little tacky. So that's very, I guess, good. You want it to be tacky. I think that's on. It looks on, it feels on. Well, I'll be. Well, I'll be. 
That's wild. Let's uh, let's let this dry. See if it's really good and on there. Well, let's do the clear side. So something to note with the clear glue liner, it does say on here to apply your regular eyeliner over this product, not under it, which is really weird. But I guess the point of this would be to put it really close to the base as opposed to actually drawing eyeliner like I just did. So do this first and then try to go around those big old lashes and <laughs> apply your eyeliner, which is really tricky, but we can do it. We can make it work. Let me apply this clear. Oh, this is gonna be hard to figure out if it's on there. Oh, I need like a color guide. A kind of like a translucent -y white, so I can see it a little bit. Just trying to make sure I get close to the lash line, I guess. Hopefully that's enough, we'll see. Okay, I'm like, ah, did you see that? I just started drying this, waving it in the air to dry it as if there's glue on it. There's not, there's not. Okay, old habits, they die hard, don't they? Okay. This is wild. Oh my gosh. It worked. It just stuck right on. Oh my gosh. Am I seeing this right? Is this for real? I didn't even have to wait for it to dry. Like, I mean, I almost tried to, but I didn't need to do that. Wow. Okay, let's let that side dry. Let's go back and do a little a little checky check on this side, okay? Okay, I'm gonna pull it down. Oh man, it's on there. <gasps> it's on, you guys, it's on. I can see it's pulling a little bit right here towards the front. I could probably have applied a little bit closer to the base, so, you know, but it's not coming off. Okay, I jumped off for a couple minutes and let the clear side dry. Let's just see that one. Oh, that is on. Oh, it's on. <sighs> That was super easy. You guys saw it, okay? That was super easy. It looks weird that I have eyeliner on one side and not the other, but look at that. Okay. Oh, I am coming off in the corner a little bit here. I think I could just apply a little bit. Let's see. Let's see how easy this is to just like pop a little on right there, stick it back down. Yeah, if this is, if this works with other brands, this might be revolutionary. This might be groundbreaking, okay? Because that was so freaking easy. Oh my goodness! Woo! Easier than magnetic lashes a thousand times, but like the same concept where you put it on, plop it on, bada bing, bada boom, run out the door. That, that is fantastic. Okay, well, I don't think there's much else that needs to be said. I think the proof was in the pudding. I'll let you guys know how these last throughout the day. I'll put in a little video right here showing you how it's been. All right, it's the end of the night, so let's take a look at these lashes. Over on this side was the black glue liner, and then the clear was on this side. I did go ahead and put some liner just to balance myself out over the clear like it suggested, and it did totally fine, smoothed right on. And I will say because of that, I feel no tackiness on this side, but on this side with just the black, it's like ever so slightly still tacky. So I think what I'll do next time is just put a little bit of liner on top of the liner like I did on the clear over here afterwards, and that would completely avoid that issue, but <laughs> No, no problems of it lifting or anything throughout the day. They are still on. I'm impressed. I cannot believe that this worked. You know what? I want to see how difficult it is to peel off. Let's take one of these off. No glue residue or anything on the lashes. Lashes not falling out. Not that I get like a lot, but sometimes there's one or two stragglers in there. That was so... Oh my goodness. I might be, I might be obsessed with this stuff. That's, that's impressive. Wow, okay, I will link these down in the description box if you wanna try them out for yourself. I picked mine up at Ulta. If there are any other gimmicky style type of lash products you want me to try, drop me a comment, let me know down below. And then before you leave, I would love it so much if you would consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And that is it for today. So until next time, I hope you all have a great, freaking awesome, wonderful, beautiful, happy day. So basically it is your top eyeliner. So basically it is your, uh, wow, wow. But, um, 
but we'll see. We'll see. My cat's getting in a bag right now. 